six months. Seven. Seven months. It's been a good crack. That's... It just starts to feel familiar, doesn't it? Getting in the car, it's just like something comforting about it now. It's like when you get into your kitchen at home and turn the kettle on, it's like that sense of belonging and you kind of get a sense of belonging getting in the cyber stair. I think you can fall in love with the idea of a machine, the idea that it can give you experiences, yeah. give you memories, give you connections to people. I mean, think about all the people we've met, all the places we've seen, that's all because of that machine. There's nothing else that you can put that to. You know, the sense of community around it. We spoke so many different languages, yet we could all communicate using the car. Like, we all had that same appreciation. This is the first project that MG have done where it's touched. 27 countries, 27 dealerships, 27 international teams all talking to each other from one side of the world to the other. It's the first time that MG have done that and I think it's probably the start of a pattern that they'll do. What the Cybers has done, I think, is reinvented the MG Owners Club. You don't have to own an old MG to be part of the club. The Cybester and all the other models, there's now a real focus and a reinvention of that sense of community amongst the MG owners. If the Cybester marks the next 100 years of MG, it's an incredible car, what's next? That's very exciting. I think the world's a lot more connected than we think. It hasn't mattered what people had as a political view, where they were from, it was just person to person and a car and enjoying that connection. The biggest eye-opening that I've seen is sustainability, pollution. We've been to 27 countries now and pretty much every country has had plastic. You can see smog and I think anyone who's denying that sustainability or going sustainable is a bad thing. It's only going to benefit us. It doesn't matter where we end up as long as we're getting greener, whether that's through electric vehicles and beyond, it's going to make the next generation a healthier one and a better planet. Favourite moment, it's got to be driving across the Pyrenees. It was absolutely beautiful. We had autumn at the bottom, up onto the pass between France and Spain. We had full winter and then you dropped down and then you were more the arid landscape of Spain. It was a real mix of environments within 24 hours. This project certainly would not have happened without the help from, I would say, at least five, six hundred members of the MG community in every single country helping us along. Every single one of them has had a passion for the brand. The people that we've seen along the road, everyone's looked at the car. They're wanting to know what's the car, who's made a car so good looking, and they're like, ah, MG. It's been an amazing journey seeing different people, different smiles. Hard to thank everyone, but I am truly grateful for every single person from MG and the communities we've driven through for all their support and kindness. I don't know why I feel emotional. I think we've, four perfect strangers have then turned into <laughs> four good mates. I, think. I mean, I hate you all, but yeah, we've, we've had the most incredible six months. I think it's a journey that we know we'll never get ever again. We're now part of that heritage of MG. Nobody can take that away from us or the team. I think that's a very, very special legacy that we've left the brand.